In 2020, we've had to learn how to social distance and self-quarantine. Because this is our current reality, I think it's especially important for us to learn how to take care of our mental health while in isolation. Step number one, scheduling. In a time when your place of living is now also your place of schooling and possibly even work, it could help immensely to give yourself a sort of structure. Whether you draw up a general outline or organize your week hour by hour, designing a schedule can give your mind a sense of normalcy and result in more productivity in the long run. However, it's also important to remember to be kind to yourself when and if you don't accomplish everything on the schedule. It's there for encouragement, not punishment. Step number two, communicating. There are a few things to keep in mind when creating a schedule. If you live with family, friends, or roommates, letting them know at least a general idea of your schedule will help create a more comfortable and respectful living environment. Another key component to communication during this time would be to set aside time to virtually connect with others. You can use FaceTime, Skype, Zoom to keep communication going with friends, family, or a therapist if you have one. These connections can help you feel less isolated and give you something to look forward to. Step three, staying aware of your influences. New information is published virtually every single day and with more time on our hands, it can feel easy to get lost in it all. Your mental health can be greatly influenced by the type of information you're exposed to the most. So while it's important to stay up to date, small actions such as getting a timer on your social media usage or starting your day with something positive like prayer, meditation, reading, or being in nature can immensely help in the prevention of feeling overwhelmed or anxious. Step four, staying active. When taking care of yourself, mental and physical health go hand in hand. But in such an uncertain time, the point is not to place high expectations on yourself to be as fit as you've ever been, but rather to take care of your body and clear your head through physical movement. Anything from taking a walk outside for some fresh air if you're able to, to dancing in the comfort of your bedroom, to looking up different at-home workout resources are all great ways to keep yourself moving and to keep your endorphins flowing. Step five, making time for yourself. Moving your entire life to your home doesn't necessarily mean that you have a ton of extra free time. However, making a point to set aside 30 minutes to an hour each day for activities that you personally enjoy doing can help add a lot of enjoyment to your schedule. There's constantly someone or something else that we can be thinking about first, and while it's meaningful to help others where you can, it's imperative that isn't happening at the expense of your mental health. So take some time to think about what brings you joy and begin actively pursuing it. With all that being said, the most important thing to remember is to be kind to yourself. Life is always gonna have its ups and downs, so there's no straightforward formula to keeping your mental state healthy. But hopefully by taking these steps, they'll help you get there.